visitor here to support Kelly and her book launch for just her sharing her experience and it's going to help so many people understand that if they are suffering from something or going through something that's really unexpected uh -huh. that they'll have something to turn to to know that they're not going through this alone and so for me when she first told me about this i'm like this is the this is just the beginning absolutely of everything like, absolutely this is the launch but we've got amazing like people that are going to spar and box and singers and oh my gosh i heard them practicing i know it gives me chills yeah i was in the bathroom and i'm hot look burning up we're standing yeah. but i'm like okay sure has you a great look voice. beautiful thank you <laughs> Hi, but um, Angela, we thank you. Of course, um, myself and my media crew have been on the Google Dot. Um, everything is well planned. And again, like I said, the energy is great. The vibe is great. And so we look forward to a gr great night tonight, okay? Yes. Thank you, Angela. Um, we, uh, we spoke with Kelly. Kelly is a breast cancer survivor. And in the midst of her being a breast cancer survivor, she just wanted to celebrate women, not just women who are suffering from cancer, but whether it's a divorce, bankruptcy, loss of a job, loss of a loved one, whatever it may be, know and understand that your life is not over. Uh, one of the main points she made when she um, spoke on my podcast was she talked about leaning into the opponent and taking your balance. That means leaning into the opponent and as you lean into the opponent, you take control. It's one thing if you lose the fight because it's your time, but it's another thing if you give up, okay? So in the midst of leaning into the opponent, we want to lean into the opponent, take our balance. Whether we win or lose, we would not give up, okay? So uh, that was one of the major points she talked about. And then she also talked about how her taking boxing allowed her to um, be mental and emotionally equipped and a lot of times going through things in life the our mental status will determine if whether or not we're going to give the fight that's needed so again um, the fight for my life you can go to the fight for my life.com kelly molly boxing through chemo but whatever your boxing is you feel in that brain whether it's divorce bankruptcy loss of a loved one whatever it is mental health we're going to break all those chains and be determined that we would never give up to the fight. We may lose, and it's okay. Now, as we wait on Shaka Dukare to come, a sister is burning up in here. I'm talking about my hair, my eyebrows, but I still be on, so don't y'all be laughing. But the energy is well. Um, in just a few, we will see some boxing. We will hear some great singing. And as Shaka come in just one second, we will hear... Um, this ecstatic voice of Nashville, Tennessee. Again, we would like to thank our sponsor for the night, um, Lauren Huffmaster, founder of Adventure Therapy. She is the sponsor for uh, Music City Fight, the fight for my life. Okay, so um, as Shaka is getting ready to come forward, um, we also have different people arriving, so we will be talking to several other different people in the next couple of minutes before the show starts at 6.30. So um, we have spoken with Kelly. We have spoken with Angela. Um, GSD is her event planning company, Getting Shit Done. That means no procrastination, no procrastination there whatsoever. So I love that when she told me um, what the name was. We now welcome Shaka Dukare. Shaka, hi, T. how are you? <laughs> Glad to be here. Yeah, Glad to be here. your fan. Thank you. <laughs> Man, let me tell you, I was in the bathroom, Shaka. I'm fanning, yes. and one of your backup singers, we actually went to school together, and she said you want somebody with as well, yes, right? Yes, yes, I did too, so okay. it means you came out a year before. She said you came out in 95? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, so we look Panthers, but I, I transferred. Pass Maplewood if you could. Well, but listen, I graduated. I mean, I transferred and graduated from Glencliff, so I'm a coach, okay, but still. It's okay. But it's okay. okay. <laughs> now, as I was getting ready, burning up in the bathroom. Yes, ma'am. Trying to make sure my brow's not coming out. Yes, ma'am. I heard you rehearse it. Yes, ma'am. 
That doll is cutting the wood <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> but no, on, on, on purpose, right. So, um, a local Nashville artist. Yes. Nashville, yes, Tennessee. Yes, ma'am. Who is featured in a Warner Brothers movie yes, with Tom Hanks. Yes, ma'am. Elvis, right? Well, I don't know if that's going to be the official title. Okay. That was certainly the working title. And it's certainly a biopic about Elvis. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. Well, it's going to be a bio about Elvis right yes. now. I guess it does. In between of the title, yes. but we have Shaka Duke away. Yes. Um, she's going to be featuring in a Warner Brothers movie. Yes. But tonight, you will be giving us the music for the night, right? Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm going to be a part of it. Okay. And so, and thanks to Kelly, she is allowing me and my friends to feature. Okay. So we, but there's going to be mo much more music than myself. But I'll give the, the longest set. Okay. I think it's about a 30 minute set for about six songs. Okay. And possibly an encore. Yes, okay. ma'am. <laughs> now, who, who, what songs will you be singing tonight? What artists would you be featuring? Thank you. We're going to open up with I'm Every Woman. We're going to get Shaka Woo! Yes. Okay. And then we're going to live our life like it's golden. You know, Jill Scott. Okay. Yes. Then we're going to respect that. And we're going to do a little bit of You Are My Friend. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of Respect. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of Mariah Carey's Hero. Okay. So we want to just, just to collect all kind of songs that, that are encouraging to women. Absolutely. You know, and, absolutely. It um, encompasses the theme of the of tonight. The okay. Fight for our okay. Lives. Yes, the fight for yes, the fight for our lives. Yes. And one thing that I noticed like is just again not just about cancer survivors. Yes. Because um, a lady asked me in the bathroom, "Are you a cancer survivor?" I'm like, "No, but we are women, so we're yes. just celebrating each other yes, in whatever form." Yes, ma'am. But I am grateful to be in your presence, a local Nashville artist we have here. So we look forward to you blowing the roof off tonight. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time. <laughs> Thank you too. All right. <laughs> Now, as Shaka Duke Ray has told us, she will be giving us a lot of different uh, versions of a lot of different art artists to be able to support women at all and encourage all women, okay? So, we will have uh, Sina Akabeko coming in just a second. And so, uh, a professional boxer that's from Ghana. But I love the fact that um, although it's a women's um, event, we have men here as well, too. And so, therefore, the the energy is vibe. The atmosphere is vibrant. Now, I'm slick burning up, but I got a fan blowing, but hey, I'm still cute, okay? But in the midst of all of that, we want to thank Kelly, thank Kelly's sponsors, um, Lauren Huffmaster, from um, owner and CEO of advanced therapy that's on and CEO of advanced therapy we also like to thank Christy which is one of two owners of um, this gym and we will talk to her a little bit later but she is an Olympic um, boxing trainer women's boxing trainer okay so we'll talk to her in just a little bit but as we as Senna Akabeko come um, before he comes we will just continue to enjoy this vibrant you will continue to get all the live updates from Real Talk with T. Holmes, and you can subscribe to my official YouTube channel at Tammy Holmes Real Talk, Facebook, um, Real Talk with T. Holmes podcast, and Instagram at Real Talk with T. Holmes. So now we have Senna Akabeko. Is that Hi. correct? Uh, Akabeko. Abeko, okay, yes. Abeko, yes. Senna Abeko, okay. So you are originally from Ghana. Yeah. Okay. So I was reading your bio last night, Senna, mm -hmm. and I was very amazed because I was enthused and I was I felt good because as young people, when we know what we want, yes, like that gives us the fight to go after it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So tell me about in the beginning when you went to your parents and told them you wanted to be a professional boxer. Uh, my my parents. Um kind of always wanted uh, the path for me uh, they wanted more of a you know go to school get a job you know and then just you know live a pretty normal yeah. ordinary life and I felt like I wanted more for myself and um, I wanted something that I could do passionately and I, I found it with boxing I always did sports growing up so I, I always wanted to do something specially and in Ghana the options are very limited. It was either soccer or boxing, and okay. I went with boxing. So, okay. um, I found that right before I uh, started college, and um, and I just ran with it. Okay, you know? so you say boxing and soccer. Box soccer is not your thing, huh? Um, <laughs> I, I liked it, but it's also a team sport. I'm a good team player, but when it comes to sports, I like the individual sports. Okay. So, uh, because I want it to be up to me. Okay, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's a good thing. But, uh, look, just for my parents, now, do you have kids? 
No, I don't. Okay. Have kids. Yeah. Look, for the de on the defense of the parents, when we talk about wanting the kids to go to school, that's just a common thing. You want them to go get an education. Yes. But hey, we can't live our parents' life. Our parents can't live them. So I'm sure that your parents and your family are proud of you that you've been very successful, professional middleweight boxer. Yes. So my, my parents are definitely happy. Initially, they weren't like, they were, they've always been indifferent, you know. Like, okay. But now they're starting to come on board more and show, show more support. Uh -huh. And, you know, they've always, I communicate back with, uh, with them all the time. They live in Ghana. Uh -huh. And um, it's, it's, it's nice to see the support coming from them. But, um, yeah, everything is going pretty well right now. And I'm happy to be part of this event. Yes, okay, so let me ask you one question. How long does it take to get from Ghana to here? Um, it's a it's an 11 hour flight, <laughs> direct Ooh, flight. Yes. 11 hours? It's, it's a long flight. <laughs> I mean, I went to sleep five, six times, woke up, played in my hair, filled my eyebrows. But if you haven't been, I would encourage you to go. Okay, Check it out. Yes. okay, I have to get more information, okay? Yeah. But let me ask you this, as Kelly has invited us all, um, she talks a lot about training with you. Yes. And also, uh, in your homeland, you had 15 and 0 knockouts. Yes. So Ooh. I. I How did that feel? I mean, it felt amazing with all the um, string of knockouts. You know, um, it obviously it took, takes a lot of hard work, you know, yes. determination, and that's what got me to that level. And when I got to 15 and 0, I didn't have any more like you know anybody that wanted to fight, so I had to take it to the next level. And the next level was coming here to the U.S. So mm -hmm. naturally, that was a path that was set for me. And I followed it, and I'm still here, still pursuing the dream of becoming a world champion someday. Oh, absolutely. And that's what, it, you know, one of my um, slogans is, when you believe, you are unstoppable. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the atmosphere. You will. Yes. You are already a yes. world champion. champion. Absolutely. Yes. So Santa at Beko. Yes. Okay, Perfect. I yes. got it right. Yes, you got it Professional right. Professional weight. And then your record overall is 24 and 2, right? 23 and, oh, well, 24 and 2 now, yes. Okay, 24 and 2. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you had seven straight wins here in the yes. United States, right? Yes. So are you ready to get back up? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, I fought in Mexico about uh, three weeks ago. And okay. I won my first round knockout. So we're still looking at uh, some possible dates here in the U.S. soon. Okay. And uh, get, just get back to it. And hopefully we find a top, you know, uh, contender and then uh, go from there. So the goal is just keep fighting better opponents and winning and uh, get to the top. All right. I'm trying to be the best in the world. Absolutely. So, yeah. But look, you you putting them hammers on them. You... <laughs> okay, so Senna Ekbeko, yes. professional middleweight boxer from Ghana who has come here in the U.S. Record is 24 and 2, so yes. he's absolutely doing his thing. One thing that I like, I want to encourage all our listeners that as parents, uh, of course he said that his parents weren't more or less uh, supportive in the beginning they have now come on board yes. and that is a great thing so I'm yes. sure now that you feel more alive and more you know absolutely yeah so, uh, their, their support and encouragement means everything so it, it just gives you peace of mind and gives you more drive and determination to follow your passion so a absolutely absolutely yeah. well Senna thank you for your time yes. I look forward will you be boxing tonight yes I will be boxing tonight maybe in about 30 minutes uh, with um, Langston, who also has a prosthetic leg, he's uh, <laughs> basically, you know, this guy's also, he, you should interview yeah, him. He, yeah, he's coming right up after you, yes, so I hope he's making his way over here yeah, somewhere. He should be here shortly, yes. Okay, is yes. he already here? Have you seen um, him? No, he's not here at the moment. He, okay. I think he's going to be here at 7. Okay. And then we'll go from there. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we will move forward, but yes, if you see Langston, tell him make his way over to Real Talk with T. Holmes, okay? Absol absolutely. Okay, now, nice to to thank you so much, Dan. I definitely look forward to watching you on fight. I don't have to make sure I keep up with the dates, okay? Absolutely. All right, all right. Thank all you right. so much, Ms. Thank Tammy. you. Take right. care. How's it going? Now, Senna Abeko has told us that in the beginning, that was a dream from Ghana. It's only two sports, soccer and boxing, and in the midst of soccer and soccer and boxing he chose um, boxing over and now that his parents are on board and they are in supportive of him that makes all the difference in the world as a parent I do know that we can't live our children's life um, we do it's the common thing to want them to go to school get an education have all this big elaborate things you definitely cannot survive without an education but hey uh, I'm gonna be supportive in whatever they do so we want to thank again our sponsor for the evening, Lauren Huffmas, Huffmaster, the owner, founder and CEO of Advanced Therapy. We will have Michelle Prentice who is coming um, forward in just a second. 
but as Michelle is coming we will again talk about the energy um, we have people arriving earlier today it was pouring down raining and I'm like okay God I know you're gonna let it clear out you know the rain sometimes will slow people coming in but hey it cleared out we have food trucks here I think they have sushi on the food truck but we have books for sale you can go to um, the fight for my life .com, Kelly Motley and again we are here on 42nd Avenue North 405 Music City the fight for my life and I just feel good as a woman I feel first of all forever grateful that Real Talk with T. Holmes was chosen to do the pre-show and again as Shaka told us we will hear a lot of great music tonight in just a few we will see um, some people boxing you know getting a fight on and I'm sure um, Santa, he might knock whoever out. He got 15 and 0 straight knockouts. Record is 24 and 2. So we are waiting for Michelle Prentice to come forward, uh, wherever she's at. But in the meantime, a girl is trying to stay cool in here, okay? Because it's hot, and I'm trying to make sure that Harry make sure that my eyebrows stay on, okay? So we are um, just waiting. Um, the event is 6:30 to 8:30 p.m. And in the midst of it being 6.30 to 8.30 p.m., we would then go forward, okay? From the north, south, east, and west, all women are being celebrated tonight at Music City Fight as they have defeated life situations. Good evening. Welcome back. I am T. Holmes. We are reporting live from the Fighters Gym, 405 42nd Avenue North. Boxing book launch party, the fight for my life. Boxing through chemo. Now, sister is burning up in here. So you have to excuse my hair and brows, makeup. But in the meantime, uh, we have Michelle Prentice that's here. Michelle, I am grateful that you are here. Thank you Thank for you. your time. Thank you. But I was reading um, your bio and it may mention held as one of the greatest voices that has never been heard. <laughs> so again, uh, I know that you did a couple of recordings with BB and CC Wine, yeah. the Judge Sisters, just to name a few. So give us a little bit more about your background. Well, um, I started singing when I was four. Okay. I got myself in a little group called Small World Entertainers without my parents knowing. Okay. They thought I was just playing at my neighbor's house. Um, but we were actually rehearsing. Um, yeah, now, excuse me. Now, how old was you during that time? I was four. Okay, yeah, so how so they were my neighbors down the street. Okay. And um, so I just, my father owned a restaurant, an Italian, I'm half Italian, half Mexican. Okay. And they, we owned a restaurant, and in the restaurant there was a stage and there was a band, a live band. And I remember, I was, I remember because I was three, and I remember pointing, going, that's what I want to do. Okay. And so I got myself into a little, a, a little uh, group called Small World Entertainers, and I was in that group for several years, and at seven I got my first solo. And once I got my first solo, I didn't want to sing with the band anymore, so or in the group. So I started on my own, and my dad became my manager. Okay, now Michelle, listen. Three years old. Yeah. Your dad has a restaurant. Now, where are you originally from? Salt Lake City. Okay. Yeah. So her dad has a restaurant with a live band. She points. Okay, this is what I want to do. So basically, she spoke her career into existence. That's the power of the tongue. Absolutely. At the age of three. Her and her neighbors started a group at four without her parents knowing. And how many of it was? Well, there it was already started. There were a bunch of kids, maybe about twenty kids. That was in a one group. Age range from um, five or four until twelve. Okay. And then Becky Kill, she was the the head of it. She taught us to sing harmony. She taught us stage presence. She taught us, and she sang lead, and we sang behind her. Okay. And so it was just a great. Uh, we got to tour to Disneyland and we sang at different places and so we, we got a lot of good experience. Okay, now you said at the age of seven, yep. you now, look, you did the Beyonce and Destiny Child, right? Okay. <laughs> exactly. So what happened after you broke off at the age well, of seven? Well, my father had cancer, actually. He had cancer from the time I was three years old. I didn't, yeah, I didn't know him well. I only okay. knew him with cancer. And so he was kind of wanting to help me with my career before he passed. 
Okay. And so he became my manager, yes. and I got a I got a uh, manager in in California. Okay. And I did a few things in California, but he was a little too sick to kind of go back and forth. So basically, okay. um, he died when I was ten, and I just kind of had a band and started doing my own thing, and okay. little by little by little, just started working as a musician, as a singer. Okay. So it sounds like it's been a great adventure for you. Yes. Now we see as we have Michelle Prentice here. Um, the show is now about to start, so we will go back and forth um, and then finish the Red Hot interviews. Well, Michelle, tell us a little bit. Um, you work with BB um, Winans and uh, Wine and Judge, and just the name of yeah. Judge, just the name of few. Yeah. So, how did that come about? Well, yeah. when I moved to Nashville from Phoenix, I lived in Phoenix and I sang hey, the show I'm there. Fine. When I moved here, um, I was I didn't really know a lot of people, but okay. my husband's a musician and a, and a producer. Okay. And so he introduced me to some people and once they heard me sing, they started hiring me to do shows. Okay. So we were at the so I, I sang with a man named Marcus Hummond who wrote God Bless the Broken Road and mm -hmm. Cowboy Take Me Away and he's a big time songwriter here. And um, we did a show on in at the Ryman and he wrote only love okay that uh, went on a judge sang and oh. so I got to sing back up with her and uh, that's how I've kind of gotten to do a lot of really cool things while raising my three children and so my career has been very interesting wonderful things mm -hmm. but also my main thing was raising my children oh absolutely now, as a mother a mother's job is never done so I know that's like I have kids they play sports hairstylists behind a chair now podcasters so I know how that is to be in all of the world so tell us tonight we will be hearing from you correct yeah okay so what kind of songs will we be hearing tonight well I'm just gonna do one song okay it's one of my favorites by Alita Adams okay get here Call who get here get here okay you're get probably here. too young for that song yeah you're probably, probably too young Young. She said I'm too young. Yeah, I've never heard it. Get here. <laughs> Get here, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a great song. Okay. All right. So you'll be going up a little bit after Shaka, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Shaka's going last, isn't she? Uh-huh. I think she's going last. I'm going, I think, second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take a quick break because the show is about to start and I actually have to speak about Kelly's book. So we will be right back. We'll talk with T. Holmes. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you.